Hey yo, the boy Red Crimson 102 back again with another unboxing. You guys know how I do. Anyway, I have Dark Siders 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Um, we all know that Dark Siders series is an old series, a great series. I would like to add. Um, I love the first game. Pretty cool. I played that one the most out of all of them. Oh, and Dark Siders Genesis. Anyway, um, Dark Siders 3, when it first came out, it was a cheap game. I got it brand new for like, I don't know, $30 on the Xbox One. Anyway, I picked it up for the Switch because, like I said, I'm a fan of the Dark Siders series. I've seen a lot of flack on YouTube saying it sucks on the Switch, it runs poorly. And the other half of people who actually play the game said it's not bad. And they also said it's a pretty good port for a Switch game because it runs like crap on consoles and PC anyway. At least that's what I've heard. When I played it on Xbox One, I had no issues with it. I thought it looked great and it ran great actually. So I'm curious to see how it plays on the Switch. I've seen videos on YouTube running on the Switch OLED. It looks really good on there. And as I said, some people have said that it looks good for a Switch game. And, you know, Switch is handheld. We know it's not as powerful as a console. So, you know, take that how you, however you want to take it. But if it runs good for a Switch port, I guess that's good enough for me. Well, I'm not here to talk about the technicalities of the game. I like what I see so far. It looks cool. Only time will tell when I play it for myself. Take a good look at the back. And now... Let's get to the unboxing. It almost looks like I'm destroying the cartridge with this knife, but not. With the wrapping off, you can see the contents on the back a little bit better. There it is. Dark Siders 3 for the Nintendo Switch. I see devs are still being lazy by adding the white background, you know, in-game art. It really saddens my heart when I see this. Please, devs, if you're watching my videos or any Switch unboxing videos, I mean, would it hurt you to really actually add in-game box art? Is it really that hard? You have the art on the front, why not the back? I mean, that's part of the reason why. I purchase, you know, Switch games physically. But there you have it, guys. Dark Siders 3. I've heard mixed reviews about this game. Uh, I guess I found out for myself when I play it. If you guys play this game on the Switch, let me know what you think about it. Is it good, good on the Switch? I've seen a video where they even compared it to the Xbox One version. In some cases, they said the Switch version had improvements over the console version, especially the original first model Xbox One. But whatever, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the technicalities of the game. I'll probably do a review on it later when I play the game. Um, it's hard for me to do reviews nowadays anyway. I'm just so busy. And when it's time to do a review for a game, I'm going to take that time to actually play the game. But let me know if you guys have this game and how it is on the Switch. Do you like it? Do you like it on consoles? Is there a big difference? I can see the console version. Do you still want to play the Switch version? Or does it um, encourage you to stay away from the Switch version after playing the console or the PC version? Anyway, Red Crimson 102 out. For those of you guys that's new to this channel, 
go ahead and subscribe like the video if you like the video it'll definitely help my channel out dislike the video if you dislike it maybe you think I don't know my unboxing sucks or my video sucks I don't know but hey I'm always open for criticism peace out happy new years to everybody and I hope everybody had a good Christmas everybody got what they wanted and that's all I have to say. Peace.